am a little distraught from Overwatch, but we'll get more into that after uh, we play the, the theme song and all that jazz. For that. <laughs> but other than that, I'm doing decent, I'd say, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I started a new thing. Which is? So for the new year, we, we discussed this on, I think, the Patreon podcast that neither of us do new year's resolutions or anything like that Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i thought of the idea i don't know why i thought of doing this but i was thinking about journaling like for my mental health you know so i can examine my shit and like put it to words and shit so i started doing that and it's been interesting to say the least um yeah just a new thing that i'm doing right yeah I don't. I'm not mad. That that, that sounds yeah. pretty good. It's pretty decent. I was I was surprised. But like I I thought of it and I was like, this is a thing that I might do. And then one day I was just sitting here on TikTok and I was like, yeah, fuck it. And I just like I think I talked about in the first day. It's nothing special. It's just talking about the whale movie mm-hmm. and how it made me feel like uber sad compared to other movies. Yeah. So I was like, eh, this is a start of something, I guess. We'll see what happens in like a year from now when I'm like, oh, what did 2023 Chris say? And I'm like a different person entirely. Here's what I wrote. Yeah. But yeah, thought that'd be a fun thing to do. That so sounds good. Yeah. How about you? How are you doing? I'm okay. Um, <clears throat> I've been uh, just doing my norm i don't even think i have anything new or necessarily exciting um just been household man and work household today. man here to save the day here to do whatever anybody else wants me to do <laughs> household man putting himself last all the time hey man i feel you there but yeah it's been it's been very uneventful, I'd say, in this new year. For it's just in a general sense, you know. I'm not There's not that, too much going on yet. I think gaming is kind of like starting to kick back up a little bit, but at the same time, eh, there's not too much going on. No. Um, I did do this year's fantasy league draft for our uh, our other Discord. We do like a little fantasy draft of video games for the year, like football. Mm-hmm. And it's based off of their Metacritic scores. And I would like to say that I think that I have probably the best um, like lineup, if I do say so myself. Okay. Let's see if I can pull this up real quick. Uh, what is it called? Fuck. What is the website? Uh, P-O-R-N-H-U-B. I found it. Yeah, there we go. That's what I needed. That poor hub. <laughs> All right, one second. I have to log into all the jazz. All right, so mm-hmm. I want you to tell me how you think my list sounds top to bottom. I'm not going to go over everyone else's list just because, you know, whatever. I got you. So for new gaming franchise, which is a new thing we've added this year, I picked up two very good games, I believe, in my own personal opinion. And for some reason, Google News just showed up on my goddamn... What the fuck? It won't go away. Okay, there it is. Sorry. Computers are bad today. If you know, you know. <laughs> um, but I picked up the game Pepper Grinder, which I heard of because of you, I believe. You showed me the trailer yeah, 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 of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm waiting for yeah. that game. When does that come out? Uh, I can actually tell you this. That's the ball, um, right? It's 2023 estimated. So there's no like specific time of year, but it is estimated 2023. So that's one of the ones that I picked for my new game franchise. And then the wish other one. Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. Oh yeah. And this game dope. looks so good. Surprisingly, someone counterpicked it. So then they think that it's not going to do good mm-hmm. and then in theory they would get points for it not doing good on mine. But if I get points then they lose points, I guess is how it works. It makes sense. Um yeah. We also have the expansion pack as like a single expansion pack we have to pick for the year i picked cyberpunk 2077 
because that fucking Idris Elba shit coming very, very soon. And then here's my list bottom to top. The last one that I'm going to say is the first. No, I'll, I'll start from the top and go down. This is the first game that I drafted. You're going to okay. be shocked because I came to play to win. I want to hear what your thoughts are. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, yeah, I mean, that was my number one draft pick. Number one. Because it, there's so much cachet that comes with that. Oh, yeah. That's a smart now, pick to win. Then after that, for two, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Okay. Comes out pretty soon, but it's a Star Wars game by Respawn, so mm-hmm. gotta be phenomenal. Um, then another one that might shock you, Diablo 4. Because people love Diablo. I've never understood the love for it, but people love that shit. I get Diablo, and I get why it's good. I've never oh, yeah. played a Diablo, but those type of games, like mm-hmm. I like those type of games, I've never played that one. They're addictive, so I understand yeah. the popularity behind them. The hype factor for that game is 84.6, whatever that means. <laughs> um, I'm projected to get 12 points from it, so I'm feeling pretty good. Next up was Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League mm-hmm. because fuck yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. After that, a Wolf Am- The Wolf Among Us 2 uh, from the people who used to be at Telltale, and now they're coming back to do the second one now that Telltale's not a thing. New company, right. but still right. same license. Um, Alan Wake 2. Like a Dragon Ishin, which we fucking loved the look yeah. of yeah. from the Game Awards. I think it was Game Awards, right? It wasn't Game Awards. Uh, we it was the one it. right before it. It was Akili, it was, though. It was, it was Akili? I thought it was, I like it was a Akili. PlayStation event. It was a PlayStation event, wasn't it? But we were together. We watched it together because we have a TikTok of us watching it. Oh, well, I guess it was a kid. It, it might have been was, just it, a, it definitely E3? wasn't the Game Awards for sure. It wasn't the Game Awards. Was it E3? It might have been E3. Shit. It's, it's E3, man. Time flies. Man. Holy shit. But yeah, so I got that one because it looked cool. Uh, after that, Tekken 8. Mm-hmm. And then Dead Island 2. And Sons of the Forest. That's my list so far. So who I still got have Spider Man. Who got Spider Man? I forgot who got. I'm about to say because if you didn't say that, I was waiting for that. Yeah, that was it. the first round pick for Anna. Mm-hmm. But the way that the draft worked this year, I went second, and I somehow got Breath of the Wild as my number one pick, even though someone was before me. It was actually John, and he picked for his number one, which I think is somewhat not a stretch, but it's like it's one of those things where it's like. Might not come out. It might come out. We don't know. But Hollow Knight Silk Song. I feel like there's a good chance of that dropping. Yeah, year. it's definitely up there. And like, if it does come out, fucking points. Mm-hmm. But like, one of those things where it's like, it still says TBA on it and estimated. So they showed the trailer finally for that what last year. So it's just, I mean, they showed the trailer before, but they showed another one last year. I feel yeah. like that's gonna drop. I feel like there's gonna be some kind of. It's gonna be either be a direct or mm-hmm. something, and you're finally gonna get a date. And I feel like that's gonna happen before E3. Hell yeah! Um, just to go over everyone else's first round draft pick, so we can keep an eye out. This is the games that I feel like everyone's actually paying attention to this year. So I had Breath of the Wild. Um, obviously, John has Hollow Knight Silk Song, and then Lucia picked up Resident Evil Four Remake. That's a good shot. That's a good yeah. one. Very good one. Comes really early this year as well. Uh, Trevor, Tuscan son from Bear Man and Friends, uh, picked up Final Fantasy 16. Yes. That's the Roman numeral. Mm-hmm. And then Anna got Spider-Man 2. So it was a very good first round yeah, go that around. First round is strong. I'm yeah. surprised nobody. Well, I'm not. I don't want to say surprised. But I feel like there's gonna be some sleepers here. I feel like one of these Xbox games is finally gonna be like their sleeper hit this year, and it's gonna be Redfall yeah. or Starfield. And I think yeah. not to say that Starfield, I feel like Starfield's hype factor alone, like there's so much behind that game, whether you oh, yeah. like how it looks or not, that it'd be a safe choice for somebody to pick. I'd agree with that. Xbox really needs to come out this year swinging, I think, just because they're they're not like falling behind. They're just existing, mm-hmm. like you know, like there's, they're not failing at all. They're not losing money. They just don't have anything that's like a need to get this system at the moment, yeah, no. which is 
fine. It does what it needs to do, you know, but yeah. 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 Uh, I am projected to win this year from the projected points. I got a whopping 150.3 that are projected to come to me. Um, and close behind me is Trevor with 128. So just the projected points alone, I might be taking home the belt this year. Just saying. You got a, it's a good shot. You got yeah. a good shot. I lost the first year. Now I got to come back. I have a podcast where I talk about video games. I need this. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be able to come on here and talk about my victory. Yeah. I need this, man. I'm just kidding. It's fun, but it should be a good time. I think the first one that got drafted that comes out is Fire Emblem, Fire Emblem Engage. So mm-hmm. a lot of Fire Emblem stuff was picked this year by Lucia specifically. But, I, I, you know, I could have guessed that that's yeah. who picked it. There was a decent, and she also picked Peppa Pig World Adventures as a game, which was a big shock. What but apparently, that, that was the second to last round that we picked. We still have like ten to fifteen to still fill out, but for the draft itself, uh, apparently the Peppa Pig games get really good fucking scores somehow. What did you say so. recently in the chat? Kids are stupid or something like that. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're the worst. Kids are stupid. <laughs> Listen, that conversation was a time. What? Do you know? He's just at your, your brother's in Nintendo headquarters on Discord yeah. talking to you. Honestly, the, the funniest part, I, we did that in the Patreon peeps chat, right? I think. It, yeah, because well. I think it was based off a Patreon episode. I could be wrong because I don't think it was in the general. No, it was in the general. It was Because then I then posted was- that I was live later. <laughs> Because he was catching up on the podcast. Yeah, true. Okay, so it was in the general chat, and I'm just, like, sitting there the whole time, like, why is he defending this so hard? I don't even remember saying this, but I was like, yeah, that that is my opinion, but I don't remember saying it, like, and why I need to be attacked by it, but it was very fun, to say the least. I was so behind on work. It was bad. (laughs) I was just in Discord for four hours straight, what felt like. And I had nothing done by lunchtime. I like went to like look at my numbers at lunch and I was like, oh shit. It was a, it was it was a time passing ass morning with that uh with that conversation going on. Yeah. I don't even remember what the whole thing was about now. That's the crazy part. Like if you like jogged my memory, I know it's about the Nintendo Switch and something about it, but I don't know the specifics anymore. Uh, my brain is just like whew, all I have to say is I don't know who hurt CJ King animation in this episode, but he is just saying the most exaggerated takes ever, which are so far from correct. To start saying the Switch is outdated when it was first released. Wait, first to, yeah, to start saying the Switch is outdated when it was when it was first released. The next thing, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet is equivalent to a Game Boy game, so they had no reason to mess it up. Yes. I don't, I don't see anything wrong with those statements. Still. And it's fine. It's Listen, when it came to when I was saying that the Switch was outdated when it came out, here's the thing. Was it extremely outdated? No. But was it outdated technologically? Yes. Compared to the other consoles in the market. Does that change anything? Like, you know, <laughs> what console's better or not? Um, no, it's just factually looking at the specs it is like very low tech compared to the others it's also a handheld but you know like, that's what it was it, it it was good for because it was no more ds there's no more handheld it's just one console yeah. so they were killing it with that you could take games that were currently running on ps4 and xbox one if well, with certain games because obviously everything didn't come to that thing yeah and uh and nintendo games and having on the go which was what got them like out the gate yeah you know, selling. they came out the gate with like really good games that are first party but all the third party games on switch if you have the option to play it you choose to play it on a good console you know and you still do that you know that's just the way it goes but 
It's fine. I think there was another thing I said in the Patreon podcast that we just posted this past week where I was talking slander on Mario and how I don't like Mario at all. And it's just because, you know, didn't grow up on him and fucking John goes on the Patreon deeps chat to like, let me know that there was an actual issue with the podcast. He's like, hey, right after you were hating on Mario, uh, the podcast got so <laughs> It wasn't verbatim that, but it was somewhat that. It was when I was in the middle of berating mario and his brother or some shit i can't even remember like now, now i gotta go back and find yeah that. it was it was very funny to say the i least. got you even if you don't like mario and his sibling yeah that <laughs> like fine i guess i'll help you guys even though half of you are dumb <laughs> all right listen How dare i don't you like do mario i'm sorry you should be <sighs> listen i'm just i'm also just not good at the games like that's the thing it's like if i was good at the games i'd love mario mm-hmm it's, it's very much the similar thing to Batman to me. Because I like all the characters that aren't the Batman of the Mario universe, which is Mario. You mm-hmm. know? I like Luigi, because I like Luigi's Mansion. It's cool. Love Yoshi. Mm-hmm. Yoshi's dope in the, the game where little baby Mario's on your back. Love it. Yeah. I, I'm not good at names that one yet. Sorry. Mm-hmm. My, ba- my brain's running fast oh, and good. not I'm catching the names on the way out. You know? I got you. But yeah, man. Like, and then Wario, love WarioWare. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else is there? That's like a side character that got its own game, kind of. Um, Toad. Does Toad have his own game? Yeah. Really? Toad's Treasure Tracker. It's like an. I'm isometric, sure I'd love that game. Isometric. I guess you can call it puzzle platformer, but it's more of an isometric puzzle game. Okay. What is it on? It was on Wii U and then it came out on Switch. I might have to check because I I think that I'm I just don't like Batman. (laughs) Batman is Mario. That's just the way it is. But it's it's fun. Like it's a good way to uh. It reminds me of a super refined phone game. Like it looks like something that would be on a phone, but it plays better than anything on a phone. If it makes sense. But you look at the formula and it's just like. I could see someone making a phone game out of it. Yeah, one hundred percent. I feel that. Yeah, yeah. It's been a it's been an interesting week to say the least. Yeah. In the say before quitting Discord, so make sure you join up on that. Yeah, the Discord's been popping <laughs> this week. <laughs> Goddamn, people buying shit and also all this. God we we ran ass backwards into a new show concept after the argument. Yeah. <laughs> true. 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 But yeah. Um. I guess it's, you want to just start the show, get in and get yes, out. Yes, hell yeah, get in and get out. Theme because song. It's late. Theme song. Go. Bond. Yes, I gathered that. Okay. <laughs> Relax, James. <laughs> it's not James. It's Bond. James Bond. James Bond, yes. Imagine that's how the next James Bond movie starts. He just oh, yeah. keeps fucking. <laughs> his fucking or whoever, his, 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 Who's his fucking? Doesn't he have like an Alfred? What's his name? I don't think it's like a direct person but i know that like the agency always has like the guy that's like hey mr bond here's the technology you need it's a toothpick that's actually a full dildo like you know like <laughs> so i just imagine him doing that thing and yeah like, get out of the mirror bond we have things to do get out of the mirror bond it's gonna explode in three seconds after someone's in it he's like yeah but i look so cool <laughs> dead up. end of the movie credits <laughs> Who was James Bond played by in that version? Uh, John Mulaney. Yeah, it works. That works yeah. immediately. That's fine. But I'm looking in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I've been blown up by the mirror. I'm using this mirror to do blow. Bond. Drugs. James. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> it would work, and I hate it. Um... <laughs> I think it's me this week, so level up, gamers. 
And welcome to another episode of the Save Before Quitting Podcast. As always, I'm joined by my lovely co-host of Me. Ant. Me. It's me. It's Mario. Me, um, Mario. And I'm Chris. I hate Mario, but not that Mario. That's going to confuse the audio amigos. Yeah. <laughs> True. Also, that whole James Bond thing is going to confuse them, too. They're oh, 100%. Watching. Yeah, it's going to be great. Audio amigos are loving the visual aspects of the show. Right. Um, but... You know, whether you be audio or video amigo listening to this podcast here, make sure you guys go over to our social media everywhere is save the letter B, the number four quitting over on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Titty. Titty. Um, make sure to go check out that YouTube definitely because we have random shorts popping off from the uh, Patreon pod. And if you want to see more of that discussion, it is officially live on the uh, Patreon now. You can go check that out. Speaking yeah. of the Patreon, go join at patreon.com forward slash save letter be number four quitting where you get two extra podcasts a month but this month it's four because we fucked up last month and two plus two is fish that's correct somehow that's all correct yeah if you just put the the two shape together it makes the fish you know yeah, you got it's, it. it's like that kind of yeah, solar works. flare um no wait is that solar flare i thought so, no, solar did it. flare was this right? oh yeah that or is it this way like it's like jazz hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I know then what's solar... this. That's, this is TN. That's TN's he... thing, and it was like that triangle beam that just like had a lot of pressure pushed you down. What is it called? I don't know. Oh, my brain is gonna get it in the middle of the podcast. But while you're trying to remember the Dragon Ball Z stuff, uh, you can also go to our website, say before quitting fully spelled out dot com. Dot com. Where you can pick up some merch. I think Ant is wearing a merch that is ours. I am. He is. Look at that shit. Save for um, winning. Check that out right there. Right there. And Back it says that. something on the other side, but you got to pay extra money to see that side. <laughs> Go to the website and look. Go to my find it. fans and see the other side of that. <laughs> no, I was talking about Patreon, but that works too. Yep. That is our only fans. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Um, <laughs> what if I'm forgetting to advertise? Uh... Email us, say before quitting fully spelled out at gmail.com at for mail. any brand deals, any questions, mm-hmm. any concerns. Mm-hmm. Um, what else could any spam? Yeah, definitely that. The food product, not the, the bad emails. Yeah. Send that. all your cans of spam. We'll eat Honestly, it all though, live on the show. I had spam for the first time the other week and I liked it. So, yeah, let's do that. Welcome was to good. spam. Welcome to Spam Podcast <laughs> Title. There it is. Um, now that we've gotten our podcast title, there's only one last thing to do before we get into the main show, and that is ask Ant, what did you play this week? <sighs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm back. It is going to be a 90-minute show. Holy shit. <laughs> Old Ant is back. I didn't play a damn thing for a week. And I know that's, like, not surprising most of the time. Most of the time. But lately, I feel like I've been coming on here playing stuff. And I yeah. played nothing. I played nothing this week. And I thought about games. I even went on Steam and put stuff on my wish list. Didn't play a thing, though. <laughs> I love how you're just window shopping for games as of this point because of how busy you are. I don't even play them. I think I just see games. I'm like, I would play this and then purchase and them and then I just have them. <laughs> I just have a bunch of games I would play. <laughs> I fuck with this. This is kind of like this an NFT. Fire. Sure. Yeah, this is. I In theory, shit. if you don't play them, you can get a refund for it on Steam. No, 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 In no, theory. No, because then I'm going to go to play. I want. I, I feel like at some point. I'm gonna have to be able to play them. But I go on, I see games that I know I would play or games that are retro inspired. And I'm like, oh, it looks so dope. Or I'll be on Twitter seeing like, and I follow like the indie games hashtag. So I see all the indie people and I mm-hmm. bookmark shit for later. Then I go home, add it to wish list, or just purchase flat out. And I just I just have it. For a rainy day. Yeah. God damn. Um, that sucks. If you could have played a game this week, which one do you think you would have played out of the wish list that you've accumulated? Well, I got mad stuff on the wish list. I'm trying to think of the ones I actually bought. Um, I have an idea. For any time 
that you haven't played something to go look at it now. in the future mm -hmm. like we could we could try to start it here if you have the opportunity to but anytime in the future if you don't get a chance to play a game you talk about what games you put on your wish list for the week oh, well, or boy that sir I that works because then you get to say stuff too in this section and it's not just nothing next you bada boom it's <laughs> genius not a damn thing genius uh let me make sure i didn't actually buy i bought a game called val ferris which is like contra but you know okay but well, with ferris bueller val ferris bueller that's right um bueller is there anything bueller. else on here that i bueller know? what bueller he's not here no um what what's in my wish list <laughs> <laughs> just trying to do a bit and it just did not hit <laughs> it didn't i don't even i didn't even know where to go yeah i mean that, that was kind of the point of the bit too but it, it was it worked against itself it's it's fine so your wish list <laughs> my wish list i added uh zero ranger which is a shoot 'em up like top down plane shoot 'em up hell yeah old arcade style um tahu luna ninth i don't even remember what this is let's check this out um Oh yeah, let's see like a, this for the first time. It's a no. I remember this now. I, oh, I somebody played this on YouTube, and I was like, I'd play that. <laughs> um, it's like a side-scrolling action game, so okay. dope, anime style. Um, Gravity Circuit. I'm really excited for this game. It's not out yet, but I added it to my Steam wish list. I don't Hell know yeah. when it comes out, but it looks dope. So another side-scrolly action game. Um, dope. Did I not? I think I talked about everything else. No, Chained Echoes. It's an RPG, like kind of Chrono Trigger esque. It came out December eighth. I was like, oh well, I gotta buy that. Hell yeah! I, it. I will buy it, so I can you know look at it. Um, and a game called Anton Ball. I don't know much about it yet, but okay. it looks it's again. He look. It reminds me of like a Wario Land, but in, all right, like indie version of Wario Land. Uh, Hell yeah! I think that is it i'm looking at my list now oh and anton blast it's like the sequel but anton ball was like the original so i felt like i had to get that because i didn't play that one so i mean i gotta play the first one right yeah hopefully so um, it's what is it called again ant on ball one is anton blast and one is anton ball a-n-t-o-n-b-l-a-s cool. and when you play them technically it'll be anton games we got to end the show right there. We're not, there's nothing better. We're never going to get better than that. That's it. That's it. Nothing will be said better than that. Waka waka. Um, you brought a pepper grinder. I have that also on my wish list. Nice. Pepper um, grinder looks so fucking good, man. Yeah. That, that's going to be dope. There was a, I don't know if you've seen this game. I think you might like the look of this, unless this is one that we already discussed. One second. No, it was not that one. Sorry. Uh, I was looking at my list and I was like, I think there was one that I picked up that I was like, Ant would like this, but it was definitely not one that I picked up. It was someone else and I can't think of it off the top of my brain now. Dang. So we'll see if I find it while scrolling at some point. Um, but yeah, man, I, I like this idea of you doing your wish list each week because I feel like you're going to have at least four to five every yeah. week to talk yeah. about. So even if you don't get the play, you you at least talk about are it. making an attempt so that's that's there's that my attempt is always there yeah. oh there's also a game called kogan or kogan c-o-g-e-n colon mm -hmm. sword of rewind it's like a side scrolly action sword it reminds me of like playing a zero in mega man x you just it's just a side scrolly all right you know action adventure I think hell yeah that is it I'm pretty sure that's finally it. Dope. Um, as far as me, I have played a little bit of Fortnite. I got back into it after there was a little bit of a news that happened where all of the new things like the hammer and the parkour that they added. And then I think there was one more thing that, that was taken out. Um, they had to take it out because it was all breaking the game. For some reason, like people were using their hammer and then instead of like, you know, hitting the ground, they would swing down and then go through the ground and die through the rest of the map or fly all the way to the roof of the map. Mm -hmm. And, you know, shit was broken. 
Um, and then they put it back in, but they also put back in the FAMAS, which is, you know, it's technically called like a heavy assault, but it's, it's the FAMAS from Call of Duty, three round burst gun, mm. phenomenal, um, and it's fun to use. So I played a couple games yesterday with Lucia, just for like a second before we all got on Overwatch, which I had been playing religiously as of this mm, point. I'm senior. I'm trying to get the rank up just because uh, it plays me so fucking low even with how many wins that I got, no matter what, it was just like, nah, fuck you, you're bronze five. <laughs> so I'm just like digging out of the trenches as hard as I can until I get back up. Right. So I don't think I'm going to be a good rank by the end of this season, but I think next season when I go to place, if I place in the same spot, I end here that I can build from that. And you know, get better ranking and it'll be more accurate when i win all of my placement games that hey yeah maybe that guy is better than the worst of the worst <laughs> like fuck's sake we would um so. i i really do i really hope so because <laughs> it's starting to piss me off right I, I would imagine but um i played a little bit today with lucia as well and we were doing mildly okay in quick play mildly and we're like you know okay. what yeah, like we were we were feeling ourselves. Like we had a couple of good games. Where we're like, okay, we could play some comp, and then we immediately got into a push map game, which is the new game mode where there's the robot in the middle pushing the wall, mm -hmm. and you have to make your wall go the farthest before time runs out or get to the very end. And we got our shit pushed in, Ouch. like much like the wall. Yeah, um, it was bad, like really bad, and it wasn't even like a situation where it's like you know it's a good fight like i would walk out of my spawn and almost die instantly mm -hmm. and i was playing Widowmaker, and i probably should have switched but i was just like so hell-bent on like no i'm getting a kill as this woman it's quick play it's fine or well in the comp one it was i i was just being a big-headed asshole but um i was gonna get a kill i didn't um so, you know, we played a couple more, lost a couple more, and then we ended it on a game where we almost lost. <laughs> we held what? the other team. They were pushing the, the payload. We held them right before the first checkpoint, so they didn't yeah. even get to it. And then we went to go attack because it was our turn. All we had to do was get to the exact point that they left off at, and we won Im immediately. We almost didn't. And what saved you guys? I switched to May, mm -hmm. um, who is the, the icy character, and her ultimate is the most clutch thing in shitty situations. Um, so I would throw mine down and would like freeze people. That gave us the ability to move back and mm -hmm. get closer. And then we got stuck again, like right like this close away from it, where we're about to lose, time's running out. And the other damage player is playing junk rat. He does like the rip tire thing yeah. and just like point blank in front of three people. Just it's going, it's a, it's a wheel. And then the wheel fucking goes out and kills them all, except for like two people. And then those just get cleaned up by Lucia, who's playing our tank. And we just win. I'm like, Whew. so we're leaving it on a heater, right? <laughs> She's like, comfort. yeah. Oh, yeah. It was it was a it was a nail biter to say the least and um, yeah man it was hard to play that I, I, it's weird because I'll go from like yesterday I was playing with um, like four people total and mm. we I was just like popping the fuck off like I was dropping like 30 40 kills a game as Widowmaker hitting headshots and shit and then I go and play today and I'm like oh I can't aim I forgot <laughs> I am no good. Yeah, it's, and like, th there's gotta be a reason for this, but there isn't. It's just off days and on days, I guess. But uh, yeah, and then the last thing that I played this week, mm -hmm. I just played it literally 20, 30 minutes ago before we started recording. Played a game that I'm going to play tomorrow on stream, and probably we're going to make a video of it as well, called FPS Chess. Ah, yes. Yeah. So how, how was it? It's free on Steam. <laughs> yes um it was funny because i was on instagram and i was you know you ever just like leave your instagram stories up and like eight thousand just go past and you forget that you were looking at instagram stories and you missed a bunch yes 
So I do that a lot. Like I'll open the first one, then I'm like looking at it, and then I'll put my phone down, and then I'll literally miss like ten people's stories. So like, it's always I saw this meme the other day where it was like, "Oh my God, he looked at my Instagram story. He loves me." And then it's like me actually, oh, and it's just like playing a video long. game or yeah. like the clicking fast through it. Yeah. And I was like, that's that's very much me. But I see one with Ryan that he posted at the gym, and apparently. Like in the little like waiting area before you walk into where their gym is, they were just playing fucking chess at the table, and I'm like, "Hey Ryan, try to play this this uh game called FPS Chess tomorrow on stream." Mm-hmm. He's like, "Yeah, how much is it?" I'm like, "It's fucking free, bro." I just He's like, "Well, what is it?" it. <laughs> yeah, it, it's like that quick. It's made by like one dude, mm. and like the main menu. Here's the thing, it's not amazing looking. I, well, I mean, I saw the trailer. Yeah. And the main Damn. menu is was, rough. You were right. Like, yeah. it's already done. It, it, it's a very, very small game. Um, I did the tutorial. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to play chess. Do you need to know how to play chess? Here's the thing. I think I need to know how you win a game of chess. If that makes sense. Okay. Other than that, like you can click on the piece that you want to move and it'll show you where you can move it to, which is probably like my biggest thing where like I would have an issue where I'm like, I don't know where this can move, how it can move with the pieces. I just don't understand the uh, like how you take pieces and, and like what takes one over the other and gives you advantage over another. I, I don't know that hierarchy right? or like what checkmate is. I just know it's a statement that you make in the game. So I'm really banking on the fact that I'm okay at first person shooters. Mm -hmm. And that that will be enough to carry me in this game. Well, not good at either. So this should be interesting. So yeah, uh, Ryan's good at chess. So there's that. Um, I've never played chess. I, I'd love to make a video of you and I playing it. I feel like for the stream, it'd be like a nice quick thing. Mm-hmm. And then over with you and I, it would just be us actually trying to figure out how to play the fucking game and then just missing so many shots at each other. Yeah. So. It has to be how it will go. It, it, it's going to be a good time. I can't wait to play it. I might even play like a, another tutorial round after we're done recording just for funsies because it's pretty fucking funny. Got it. Yeah. I like that. Hell yeah. People are um, creative. Yeah, it's it's pretty good looking so far, but from what I've seen. Um But yeah, that's about all I played this week. I guess it's time to move into the news. We still don't have a thing for this, right? We don't have a news. Like like the Yeah, we gotta find like, a creative way to implement that into a theme song. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm mm-hmm. right, I got to think of another uh, game thing that could be news <laughs> title. I, I don't know why I thought of it, but what's the name of the dude in Star Fox that just got like a regular ass name? It's Fox, Falco, Peppy, Slippy. Yeah, and there's like some guy. Just like a, like a normal human name. Rob. That doesn't matter. Bo- Is it Bob? Rob. Rob. We should do like you're foul you're like flying and then rob shows up and he's just like it's time for the news fox <laughs> and that's it but rob <laughs> just is screaming. just a robot that helm no th- i thought there was like a like a fucking like a captain or some shit that was not named anything i made like multiple tiktoks when you played it back then it's like some random guy what was he saying in the tiktok he was just, it was just, you literally said in the TikTok, I mean, all these other guys like got like names that make sense to their animal. Like you got Fox and you got, you know, this person. And then you got this guy. And I can't remember what his uh, name is. His name, um, because Star. he's not part of, uh, he's, he's not, not part of like the crew. He's like, uh, he's like just a enemy. guy. He, I don't know if he was an enemy. I think he was just, I don't remember now. Um, I'm like blanking so hard on it. In theory, I could probably go to our TikTok and just scroll until I find Star Fox. He was on your team, I think. Oh, fuck. What is his name? I know who you're talking about now. 
Yeah, Fox. But like he just would oh, say stuff. His name. He helped you out during that fake ass Independence Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man. One second. Um, I'm stuck on this TikTok website, and it's really pissing me off. What the hell is his name? Dude, the goddamn website for TikTok is terrible. I don't remember the name. It's bothering me now. I'm going to find it. It's fine. Here, I'm on our page now. Let me scroll until I see some Star Fox. It's going to be a decent bit. Uh, Rhythm games. uh, This is where I played Knack. Um, (laughs) What? Can it scroll? No. Man, it's not scrolling. The website actually just froze. Are you and I frozen? Hmm? Are you frozen? No, you're not. No, I'm good. Okay. I'm here. Yeah, my computer is hitching right now. Hitching. Hitching in the kitchen. Well, actually, specifically Google Chrome. My Google Chrome is uh struggling. Oh, my computer's struggling now. Rut row raggy. Oh shit. Yep, you froze. Are you there? There you go. You're One back. second. I'm back. I just force quit Google Chrome and it's like, no! <laughs> and then it almost took my computer down with it. <laughs> All right. Let's hope that the video isn't corrupt. It shouldn't be, but. All right. Let me find it because I got to find this because we can't move on to news if we don't know the name of the guy that everyone's probably screaming at us. Yep. Gonna need some help with that. Save before quitting TikTok. Cool. Clickety click. Here we go. You gotta do the thing that verifies that I'm not a robot. And I'm not trying to come to this damn TikTok and do things, I guess. I don't know. Um all right, there it is, there it is. Uh Bill. Bill. Yeah, his name is just Bill, dog. Yeah, that that guy. It'll just be Bill screaming at Star Fox like, Star Fox, it's time for the news! Or something like that. Thanks, All for Bill. that bit. God All right, damn. Bill. Team, we follow up. This. That would work. My name's Fox. Star Fox. Now, what did he say in there? <laughs> something like, we're Star Fox. All Fox's lines are just these super cliche ass lines oh yeah 100 all right so now it's time for the news uh if you would like to hear us talk about a news topic go to our discord post the link in the news section and we'll talk about it that is true he told no lies <clears throat> all right news news first up there is a rumor that Illumination is also, in addition to the Mario movie, working on a Legend of Zelda movie, which I feel like is the most overdue video game franchise movie ever. Here's the thing. One, amazing screenshot. I'm glad that you included the first retweet. Yes, um, I did that on purpose. <laughs> thank you so much. If you don't know what we're talking about, go join the Discord. We don't, we're not going to narrate everything that's visually happening. Go to the Discord, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Um... But if you were to choose, how would you do this movie? Because the main character doesn't speak. Well, he's gonna Mario never like spoke spoke. Yeah, I mean he Full did, sentences. but he he had a voice from a voice actor. Link who has a said, voice. It's a me, Mario. Link is like, I, I, yeah, yeah, but that's not like a voice. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't say anything canonically. Like, he's never said a word, correct? I feel... Right. He has not. So, I like, they're not like, going to do that in a movie. Yeah, they will. They're going to make him talk. They, they have to make him talk. And what they're going to do is this... It's going to be the same build-up that the Mario movie was. What's he going to sound like? Who's going to play his voice? What's he going to sound like? What's he going to sound like? Until it starts and he just... He's Chris Pratt. My problem with that is I feel like that's the equivalent to what the Halo TV show did where they took Master Chief and unmasked him. They unmasked a video game character in a television show about the video game, and fans were pissed. 
because that's something that the that the gamers have been waiting for for so fucking long to hear and see Master Chief without his helmet on. This is the same thing where if uh, it's not in a game where we first hear Link say something, that's fucked to me. You know, it could be an amazing movie, but I feel like they need to either one make Link say something in the next Breath of the Wild game or Tears mm -hmm. of the Kingdom, whatever it's called. He won't. Um, he won't. But like in my brain, if this is real, make him say a word, at least a word. So then you can lead it in to the movie where he's fully talking because you got to give that to the people who deserve it in my brain because of how mad they were about like what's it called happening master chief like just because of the fallout of that i don't i don't i guess i just don't equate the two things only be, like because if they're smart it's illumination there we go so it's already animated i think it's just under different pretenses like link talking is not going to be as jarring as master chief just being a guy when his helmet comes off I don't know if I would. I don't agree with that. I think that it's very jarring to hear a character who's never said anything since what year the first game came out? 1980, late 80s. Yeah, late 80s. This is bigger than that because Master Chief is not around since the 80s. But how mad they were that they didn't get to see Master I, Chief unmasked in his like who he is. I think Link's Mario voice is that same to me. I think the Mario movie softened the blow for that, though. For Mario, but not nah, for but, Link. Yeah, but Link can't speak. He needs to be a mute. The, he he de he's canonically a mute. Yes, that he I needs to be a mute me. in the movie because that would be amazing visually. So then, how do they do it? How do they make him a mute but also have an entire movie? Really around? good animation. I Every like character around him speaks, and he speaks with his face. And it's just reaction, emotions, and that's it. And it would work so well because you got to think about this. The minions illumination. The minions don't technically speak. Like they, they have a language, the time, though. but they do and they don't. That's the same thing you could convey with just like the hat or like, you know, regular hmm, hmm, or like God of War, hmm, you know, <laughs> shit. And then facial expression. It needs to be. I, I, he needs to be silent, I mean, in my opinion, if this happens. The only thing that's going to... The only thing that's going to kind of... It, it forces them now... Because you know they're going to give him some type... It's Illumination. They're going to give him some... If he's going to be the serious hero who doesn't speak, he's going to have some wise, cracky sidekick to fill in the gaps. Yeah. Which is probably going to be the fucking, hey, listen, fairy. Yeah. Have her cut off anytime he's going to speak. That's how you do it. He's about to speak, and then the fairy just keeps cutting him off and being his dialogue for him before he has the chance to dialogue. <laughs> Link, what do you think about this? Ah, me too. She just interrupts. Like, yeah, yeah just immediately. Thing. Doesn't even give him a chance to respond, ever. That being said, with the voice out of the way, which version of Link would you want if you had to choose? They gotta do... Um, they're, they're gonna do... They're either gonna do... a some kind of like special storyline where it connects a bunch of different links like on some multiverse shit mm -hmm. or are they going cool. to do spider verse um, but link first yeah like like kind of how this picture is on, on our discord go to our discord yes it is on the discord but um or it's going to be they're going to default to their biggest one which was um ocarina of time or breath of the wild they're either going to go ocarina of time for like the this is the classic, the mm -hmm. one that everyone remembers and loves and was hailed and critically acclaimed, or they're gonna go for recency bias and it was a big deal of Breath of the Wild. All right. Which one do you think would do better between those two, like as a movie? I think they're both gonna do equally as good. I think if they, okay. um, Breath of the Wild is obviously a, uh, easy bet but ocarina of time has the story i think the story of ocarina of time is better than the story of breath of the wild okay. plus ocarina of time has young link and older link so you'd have different you get to see like the young link who's in other zelda games mm -hmm. and also the adult link who saves zelda and defeats ganon and everything i think it has more places to go 
than Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Breath of the Wild has a lot of places to go because it's a big, big open area. Big but barren wasteland. Yeah. The, the story wise and what they could do. Yeah, definitely. Okay. Now, if they want to go, I don't want them to go this way. Not that I would hate it, but I'd rather the other way. But if they want to go for straight up wild, crazy, beautiful animation, they go Wind Waker. Okay. Because that's like that Toon Link looking. Yeah. Toon Link uh, I, was one of my things where I was like, I could see Illumination doing it yeah. because he's like smaller in those games too, right? Because it's like he's almost like chibi. Link. Yeah. Is that well? That's like the chibi style one where it's like really big head and like small yeah. body. Yeah. yeah. I could see them doing that just because like with Illumination's style of animation, mm-hmm. there's not really been that I can think of like a young adult teenage character or like child that looks like it could be as expressive and emotive as link is or like fight as well but them doing like a small version like that that would work so well like they have the minions doing crazy ass shit you have fucking uh secret life of pets you know like they're doing crazy shit too the animation they could do with toon link would be mm-hmm. insane yeah but yeah be but cool. this rumor was put up by a lot of different outlets so i'm like and plus you know illumination clearly has the deal plus they're part of universal so i mean i could see this becoming reality at some point um what was i about to say i was about to do something else um i don't know man i i think it would work i just want it to be done right there's a lot because the zelda movie because nintendo's so fucking sensitive there was supposed to be a zelda movie put on netflix Mm -hmm. and the only reason it never came out is because the information about it leaked people found out and then they just canceled canceled it i was just like what (laughs) so dumb we're in the internet age it's going that's going to happen (sighs) and me being a fan i was like waiting for that you just canceled it <laughs> you ruined it guys how oh, dare it yeah now i gotta I be you. fucking 40 <laughs> in the movie theater next to an eight-year-old not even my year old just some eight-year-old who only knows link from smash brothers like hey it's, it's zelda look i'm like no his name is link you dumb idiot get, looking at his mom like get your fucking kid out of here he's ignorant trying to watch this movie for kids <laughs> The mom's going to be like, when do Mario and Sonic show up for the Olympic Games? Oh, I don't know why man. it's a Bob's Burger character, but it's that's it's, who I went And then I'm going to look dead in the camera that's not there. And what's that line Wayne Brady? <laughs> You're going to break the fourth wall. In real life. And then what Wayne Brady said it best on the Chappelle show. And he's like, does Wayne Brady have to choke a bitch? And then I'm going <laughs> to flip out. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. All right. Oh, man. I want to make that bit now. Like, I want to go to a movie theater and, like, record that. Uh, <laughs> next up. Who's um, he talking to? I'm just looking in the space. <laughs> uh, Dungeons and Dragons, a live action eight episode series, has been ordered by Paramount Plus on the heels of a little bit of bad news in the DD front, which we can go over. I guess right after this, because this is going to be quick. And the movie that's coming out very soon in theaters. Um, going off of that, though, I'll just get it out of the way quickly. Uh, D&D, the brand uh, that is owned by Hasbro and Wizards of the Coast, um, pretty much came out with a... I don't know if it was like an article or some sort of shit, talking about a, their open game license regarding content creators, people like uh, Critical Role any like you know indie like people on twitch streaming D and whatnot um pretty much saying that they would be inclined to get some of the money that those people make the content creators because it's their product that they're using mm-hmm. um and it was very bad if i remember correctly detail wise i can read it out um pretty much <laughs> Uh, the revised license is intended to protect the D&D brand by reducing the creator confusion, preventing bad actors from tarnishing it, and preventing large businesses from profiting off it without proper checks and balances. So pretty much they just want to, you know, 
control how their product is looked at and they don't want people like bad actors which is quoted from a leaked document um to uh tarnish their legacy i guess um the proper checks and balances will come in a form of requiring all creators making a profit of their DD related work be that one dollar or 50 grand to log their profits product and obtain a creator product badge for their work as stated on DD beyond the website you can use to play the game and get all the mm-hmm. books and stuff mm-hmm. um so yeah um those earning over seven hundred fifty thousand a year so big channels like critical role um will be required to share some of that success with the Wizards of the Coast by paying a royalty of 20 to 25% of the qualifying revenue they make in excess of $750,000. So people are very unhappy about this. Um, They're thinking that this is pretty much shutting down um, people like Critical Role and also smaller channels trying to grow uh, with this tabletop game. And uh, people are not happy, to say the least. I'm not Um, happy. This is, you know, it makes sense why people aren't happy about it. This is it kind of is reminiscent of what Nintendo does regarding Smash Brothers tournaments. Mm-hmm. Like, they're just like, no, nah, you're not fucking making money off of our shit. And, but this is more like, okay, you're making money off of our shit. Give us that money. Give us the money. Yeah. <laughs> like, a, fuck this you. This is a stick up. <laughs> yeah, 100%. And then also, like, the fact that you need to register to be able to even use their product if you'd like to make something online like Mm. a critical role or run a campaign or some shit like that where the only thing that's really necessary from DD is the buzzwords of what class you are and your abilities as opposed to you know acting out the actual scenes and role playing it if you're doing it that way but uh, yeah um people aren't happy to say the least um I, i saw a tweet right before we went to live that they might be canceling it the open game license or like reworking it and not putting it into effect yet uh, just so they can rework it because people aren't happy but i don't know we'll we'll keep you posted on D. &D. did (laughs) on the did hell yeah next up in the news um both it was officially posted on by xbox um xbox and bethesda will present a developer direct on wednesday january 25th providing fans with an inside look at some of the games coming out the xbox pc and game pass over the next few months so that would include um it's a fucking wednesday why guys we have work pm too so Um, fucking so i saw they're they're gonna talk about forts of course redfall um it was one other thing and people it was it said they had a follow-up tweet that starfield won't be there because they're planning their own specific starfield direct yeah that game is large enough that it deserves its own yeah. thing you know so i'm curious to see more on redfall i want to see more gameplay and shit they said it's akin to i just heard this recently everybody thought it was like a left for dead character class based mm-hmm. um was it vampires vampire game um, yeah i think yeah, vampires. they said it's more akin to um far cry like specifically far cry 2 which people got more excited about it like all right now i'm really interested in what this is i'm interested in both to be honest like both styles mm-hmm. but that's that's interesting that they're going that way instead hmm. so should be very very interesting redfall yeah. seems to be the favorite right now as to what this game is because yeah. people are obviously um excited about um starfall starfield star that, that's what it's called right mm-hmm. um but they already kind of have an idea of what that is yeah i feel that um yeah i'm, I'm kind of excited for it um sadly it's a wednesday so we won't stream it but um we sure as hell will talk about it later that night because that's when we'll most likely end up recording anyway so yeah, easy right. peasy but uh yeah uh next up in the news a little bit of somber news for the uh sixth time ubisoft's original it. game skull and bowls has been skull and balls is what skull i said balls. Damn skull it, and balls skull and balls baby <laughs> <laughs> fucking kill me uh it has been delayed 
God damn it. It's been delayed for the sixth time. Uh, originally revealed in 2017 and in early development since 2013. That is 10 years, folks. Um, it has been delayed from March 2023 to an unspecified date in the next year, which is insane. I'm, I'm going to read the next thing, too. Yeah. Um, I'm curious you if this your beat mic up, Cyberpunk. Did I? Like really loud out of nowhere. I can turn it down. I might have been closer to it. So oh, might, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah you're I was goofing. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, cool. So uh, I'm curious to see if that time amount is more or less than Cyberpunk. Because I know it's more delays mathematically, I think. Because yeah. I think Cyberpunk was three or four. If it I'm correct. It wasn't delayed six. Yeah, six is like Jesus Christ. But I'm curious if it's the same amount of time, though, because I know Cyberpunk has been in development for a long time as well. Mm -hmm. Like, it was just, like, in the background, because the board game, the tabletop one, has been around for so long as well. Mm -hmm. But um, that being said, Ubisoft has also canceled three unannounced games and delayed that Skull of Bones yet again. The company says it's facing major challenges as the industry continues to shift towards mega brands. That's coming from VGC Video Game News. Yeah, it, this has been a um, big talk all over like video game Twitter mm -hmm. the last two days. Um, also, Ubisoft reportedly is upset that they feel they feel like that latest Mario Rabbids game underperformed, which had people conflicted because I was like, well, you just said the company says that it's facing major challenges as the industry continues to shift towards mega brands. It was like, yeah. but you just talk your your Mario game underperformed, which is yeah. a mega brand. And also Rabbids too, which is like the minions of you. Why are we talking about minions so much? It's me yeah. only. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Uh, minions, guys. I'm loving them. Um, that's their catchphrase. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm loving, I'm loving them. them. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever minion sound is. <laughs> God damn. But yeah, the Rabbids are also a su a insanely popular mega brand overseas comparative mm -hmm. to a yellow tic tac looking motherfucker that we have over here. Um, so it's it's doubly a mega brand. <laughs> yeah, true that. But uh, I don't know, man. It's it's one of those things where like I get it. Like th here's the thing, they're not wrong with they're saying that they're facing challenges with the mega brands being more of the focus like it's big name games that everyone gives a shit about nowadays yeah <clears throat> you know it's, it's the god of wars it's the horizons it's the fucking spider-man and all the marvel shit that comes out and now dc putting their hat into the ring i get it but also like you make good games ubisoft like the assassin's creed shit's good you just kind of let the franchise die a bit on its own resurrect that shit yo you <sighs> It was, they're good at putting out they make great B plus games. Yeah. Not and B that's plus a great, is great. And that's too. a great place to be because I feel like you'll plus. always have an audience. You'll always have a following because you make games good enough to be heralded. But at the same time, I do feel like their formula has gotten to a point where it's just like eh, maybe like it's never like i'm definitely buying that Ubisoft game yeah i think the last time that happened it was uh maybe one of the like the one of the last two assassin's creeds that was probably still their like their money getter yeah it was it was valhalla <laughs> yeah but but my but, but you didn't get it oh i got it um it I feel like we gotta great. retell that at some point, just because like <laughs> it's been so fucking long since people heard that. I know. God Crazy. Damn. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. Sorry. So I'm I'm interested to see because remember earlier last year, last summer, they just had mm -hmm. that huge Assassin's Creed direct where it was a ton of Assassin's Creed games coming out. One major yeah. one, a side one, a mobile one. They have this this big Assassin's Creed push. So I'm really interested to, with all this being said, does that affect that in some way? You're pushing Skull and Bones back, but Skull and Bones is in Assassin's Creed. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know if the the Assassin's Creed stuff is going to take a hit from this because I feel like that's the one thing that they, if they do it right and they play their cards right, can bring them back into the discussion for Mega Brands. Because in my brain, the Assassin's Creed, the Assassin's Creed game series is a Mega Brand in my mind. That, While it's like a B tier Mega Brand, it is up there. Mm-hmm. And if they play their cards right with these next ones that they showed at that event, like there was the one that was like. Uh, the Japanese one that like they were saying it's like gonna yeah. be similar to Ghost of Tsushima. I'm immediately on board. Like you don't have to fucking sell me. I don't need to see a trailer. I'm getting it as long I as it's not it, a mobile game. I think they make B games, but I think Asa- Assassin's Creed it may not be triple A, but I would give Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed might be like a double A game. Double A batteries. Yeah. Double A Two A's in Assassin's Creed. <laughs> can the Assassin's Creed? Can it be double Assassin's Creed? Batteries. Title. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Double Assassin's Creed. Yeah. But um, yeah, man, I, I get what they're saying, but I'm also like, you have the tools in order to like get past these challenges that you're saying you have. So mm-hmm. use the tools. Maybe you won't have as many issues, unless there's three unannounced games were like something like completely different that I, I like they're nothing like talking about it skull and bones is just like bruh it's it's literally less fun looking sea of thieves and i hate to say that like does it look good yes but is it, it's less fun version of that like it's super serious and grungy when they and first showed it, it realism like they took assassin's creed black flag and made it a game like they just took the pirate stuff and was like this should be a game in itself yeah. minus assassin's creed and this is when they first showed it then they re-showed it and it looked like they had a little a lot more systems put on top of it but mm-hmm. it still had that same vibe i yeah. just think they're gonna push this off too much like even though they're, they're facing challenges i feel like it's like at this point you're not helping the challenges by yeah. doing this by pushing it back again true 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 you're pushing it out of the mind space of the gamers i agree ubisoft i think what they need to do i feel like a bit fuck i can't even say that i'll say a big property needs to take give them a chance to make a game like marvel or something but they mm-hmm. got nintendo to do that with mario so it's just like a big property yeah. game going shot and I didn't know that underperformed. I thought it sold pretty well. I know the first one sold really well. Yeah. Um, so I kind like, of forgot that it came out, if I'm being honest. Like, not no, even, like, in a bad way. Like, I thought it wasn't out yet. It for sure didn't keep the the mind share as long as the first one did. It kind of mm-hmm. came. It was here. It was big for, like, the holiday season. And then other shit dropped. Mm-hmm. That no one talked about it anymore. Um, but I think that I think they make, like I said, I think they make great games, Far Cry games. I think they make, you know, Assassin's Creed. I think with that knowledge, they need to attach themselves to a giant property if they can and work with them to make a game to get themselves back in the good graces of gamers. I'd love to see them attack something just different, something like, I don't know. I don't know what property hasn't been gamified lately or just go left field make something nobody's thinking about trying to think like what i would want make my damn batman beyond game ubisoft dc let them make it i don't know if i want ubisoft to make that if like we're getting here's the thing if we're getting a batman beyond game it's going to the one studio that i trust to make a superhero game insomniac it's going to insomniac 100%. 100%. Can you imagine their team working on like a future Gotham City? Chris, don't give me hope. And flying around nah, that? Don't do that to me. It's not even giving you hope. Here's the thing. It's not going to happen. But like, <laughs> could you imagine that? Like, it yes, would be fucking insane. I, I don't even need it to be in like the cartoon style. Like, just do it in like Spider Man style where it's like slightly realistic, but it's still got the bright colors and the feel <sighs> that you need. Yeah. What? Damn. One day a Batman Beyond game will happen. If I were to choose a property, make the Ubisoft to do. Ubisoft. Also, no. 
I would st- I would still give that to Insomniac. <laughs> they have to make yeah. them all because <laughs> that like flying around the city on a sewer cover, <laughs> bruh. Like <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. they can't do it better. Um, who, what's a property that I was thinking of? Uh, it, it's a stretch, but it's a property that technically died a couple years ago with the mm-hmm. final movie of it that didn't do well. Um, Men in Black. Give me an L.A. Noir type Men in Black game where you and like your partner have to go around this random city, whether it be suburban or, you know, like New York, and you have to check up on aliens. You have to make sure that, you know, no alien crimes going down. You got to go over here. Oh, there was a crash landing over there. Mm -hmm. And then there's this underarching theme that's going on. But it's just all like you're just literally patrolling the city. Yeah. and talking to all these different aliens like you go into the fucking USPS and talk to the beatboxer motherfucker <laughs> and then you, yeah you go see fucking uh, Jeeves at mm-hmm. his like pawn shop and that's where you upgrade your weapons and they shit should just, he should act as like the dummy that you can test your weapons on you just keep yeah. shooting his head off that's the thing you would like be like oh like he would flip the thing over and then there'd be like all these guns and shit and you'd be like inspect it and you could look at it and it's like try it and then you just pull it up and you would hold it up you just shoot jeeves in the head like like that would be it this is good yeah this is a good idea because it's kind of dead you can make yourself wanted to give you pushback because i was like "Mm, i don't think that's going to do anything men in black is kind of like not thought about anymore in the zeitgeist of like nerds Mm -hmm. but with the way you describe it it it, it would be a fun game i feel like oh yeah see that that a good enough game that'll revive the movies again exactly plus it's one of those things where you think about it there's not much like alien media anymore like space type shit like the most space you're getting is star wars and that's just on fucking disney plus as of this point like alien movies even like the alien franchise and predator are pretty dead right now too but you know give us like a slightly goofy movie type you know thing with aliens in it and then it's also can be extremely serious at times get a cameo or two in from fucking will smith and tommy lee jones easy peasy money it is i want to play this now I pitched two games to you that aren't happening, and I'm really sorry. What, the Batman one? Batman Beyond and Men in Black. Sorry. And then I teased myself with Static Shock. Static Shock would be good. I don't know if I'd love it as a game, but I I want Static Shock to make a a resurgence as a character, as a whole. Me too. Oh, Ubi's, they can do, um... Because they all failed, besides the, uh... The one that just came out, the the, the the retro one, but give Ubisoft um the turtles. It can't be worse than the last AAA one they tried. I think it was on like PS4. And it honestly, they could literally just like steal the engine from Assassin's Creed and like all the moves and shit that he does, and give and it to it- the turtles. And make it more like obviously like light, like kind of not as serious as Assassin's Creed. Yeah, they could do like almost like in a Persona Five style where it's like kind of comicy, and like if they hit someone, it does like the thwack, mm-hmm. like the fucking like it'll do like spray painted like uh like uh what are they called onomatopoeias? Yeah, like that'd be shit. Like like special moves, you like hit someone up with Donatello's bow staff, and then Leonardo comes down on him with the swords. <laughs> Co-op hey, four-player in the city. You just like take, Gotham Knights. Yeah, you just take Assassin's Creed's engine and throw it. And they already have an engine with cities in it because they got all the um um fuck. What's the uh their Grand Theft Auto? Uh, Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs. Throw it in a yeah. city and watch it. Like I think you can pull it off. Just take all the fucking NPCs from Watch Dogs and put them in as like the the <laughs> New York City NPCs. Exactly. And then you take a car from Forza and then you put that in there and make it the Turtle Van. That's fucking not Ubisoft, a. though. <laughs> what what's their car game? They have a car game. Oh, they do. What is it? I thought it was Forza. It was a nah, uh, in the Forza picture. Just Xbox. I thought they had a car game. Fuck. That's one of Xbox's very Listen. few 
uh, Ubisoft car game. Was it the ride? No, it's the not crew. The ride. Crew. The crew. Yeah, That's they got the crew. Take that and make it turtles. <laughs> turtles the crew. <laughs> Take the cars and make them all turtles. Hey, cargo's vroom, but with you know, cowabunga the man and the the drill thing and the blimp and just make it open. Y'all can do it. Ubisoft. Y'all can yeah. Do it. Open world cargo vroom pizza. Ubisoft hire us. We'll, we'll bring you back. We'll put you back in the spotlight. Please and thank you. Oh uh, yeah, and then uh, we just got one more thing that Robbie just posted. This little uh, kind of turtles esque game, Common Rider. Yeah, it's like a it's Kamen all in Rider Japanese. Brawler. So yeah, so, yeah. So we don't know the title because it's all in Japanese. I can't even translate the YouTube page, which is weird to me, because normally, like you know, like you go to a website that has a different you know language and mm. translate. It's like, oh yeah, I got you. I'll translate real quick, and it just didn't. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> can, can you please tell me what this says? Help me. Yeah. It might just be a uh, Japanese release, though, to be honest, just because it's not on the uh, Bandai Namco US page. It's only on this Japanese one. But it looks pretty neat for what it is. I mean, you know, it's on Steam and uh, Nintendo Switch coming soon. Uh, I'm not a fan of this personal Kamen Rider, so I don't know much about this series. Mm. Um, I think this is the OG one. And it's also, it has that little SD on it, which reminds me of a... Sucking dicks. Go on. Gundam. (laughs) Like the Chibi Gundams. Those were like the SD Gundams. You know? Yeah. yeah. So like Chibi Kamen Rider SD, kind of, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, pretty cool looking. I like the look of it. You can get stickers if you pre-order, I think. That's what this is saying. I don't know. (laughs) I can't read. Japanese truth but yeah that's all we got yeah, for man. this uh this week I and mean, we do not have a question sadly we don't over in the question section because y'all have been busy as well yeah man yeah y'all have been but it's all good because the like i said the discord been popping man y'all know how to join the discord if you're not part of the discord yeah and also head over to the patreon for those extra podcasts this month this week's episode is damn good if I do say so myself, uh, we we dive back into the year 2004 for a, a big portion of it, and then we yes. uh, discuss some music uh, and some stuff that we yes, kind of want to do, but also don't know. What, we go what back to, to 2004, do. then we go back to like 99. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's time to say the least. We had a really good YouTube short that came from it, um, and it fucking popped off at the first like hour what 1500 400 right now yeah like 1400 but it was like a thousand or it was 500 in the first 30 minutes and then it was immediately a thousand and it's got like comments and shit all over it from like all these like chicks that are like there was one that was like some of the lyrics i got a phone call was my destiny hey that one that part of the song I so see the comments Hold yeah. on. there's some comments there man which is great the whole black and blue album was amazing. Oh my god, I loved hit clips. Love the let me tell you the story. Oh yeah, he did the lyrics yeah. in here. At the call so between is, my destiny. Hey. This is the the content we have to make now. Yeah. So oh, that's hilarious. That's what our content might be from now on. Just us talking about the Backstreet Boys, maybe. I don't know. Clearly that's what the people want. And if you don't, don't want what we're that, talking about. Let's do the score that yeah. But uh, either way, make sure you guys follow us everywhere. Say a letter B number before quitting over on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube. Titty. Titty. And uh, you can check out some of our streams. I go live every Friday. Uh, Ant streams when he fucking can. God damn it. Go watch my, my Street Fighter uh, yes. <laughs> TikToks. I'm going to be starting to post them a little bit tomorrow. I'm, I, I posted one today because I got busy at work, but it'll be two a day from then on in. And then... Bless you. Jeez. <laughs> Fuck. This is some hard sneezes. Like, when you come up, I'm not expecting to see, like, a nose on your face. I turned into Robert De Niro when I sneeze. Clearly. Talking to me, Faka. <laughs> I drove a taxi. Um, 
That's all I know. <laughs> drove a taxi. Yeah, taxi driver. Go watch it. Good movie. <laughs> um. Anyway, um. What was I saying? I like. I completely lost what I was saying. Um. In my sneeze. You were transitioning into something. Oh. Shit. Go to our website and buy our merch. We have some cool merch. That's a good thing to transition to. Yeah. Um, check out the merch, email us with some stuff if you'd like, and then also make sure you join up on that Discord. Uh, drop some questions in the pod questions, and then also post your weekly pickups every single week because we are spending too much money as nerds because we're kidults. Mm-hmm. You didn't see that news story on the mainstream news. No, what happened? Oh, you didn't see that? Shit. Fuck, man. Um, there was a like big news story going around last week where it was like uh, adults are choosing to spend their money on toys and collectibles and blah, 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 like that. And they were like, yeah, it's crazy. Like the, the adults are actually keeping the toy like market alive right now because they're buying it. And it's because kids don't have money because kids, you know, our kids. They don't have jobs. Um, <laughs> fucking. And it's our time to shine. Yeah. But uh, they, they, they coined the term kid adults. And uh, people aren't liking Valid. that term, but I don't really care. I know I'm a child. It's fine. I have toys. <laughs> That's what they're for. Your entire background. Yeah, man. Toys. It's, it's, I got more this week that I was like, shit, I, fuck, I, I forgot I got these pre-ordered. And I should have canceled them because they're Star Wars toys and I'm done with Star Wars. But then I looked or at the so characters. Thought. Well, I looked at the characters and I was like, well, this this is this is Alo Secura. She's one of the Jedi's. You, you saw Revenge of the Sith, right? The last of the prequels. The good one. Long hair Anakin. It's is the one a, where like no, they the fight. The clones with like, killed younglings or something like that. No, that's that's the Revenge of the Sith. Okay, yeah. then that's all that. Yeah. Yeah. So you know when Order sixty six happens and all the clones start shooting at the Jedi mm-hmm. and whatnot, she's one of the ones that dies in the planet of Felucia. And, um, you know, she's a cool character, but she dies very, very, very quick. And then I got this Darth Maul from Clone Wars. Looking lean, Darth Maul. Yeah. Which is funny, because I literally have a hot toy of this as well. So it's like, I bought the six-inch version of the thing that I have that I spent a lot of money on. Well, I mean, that one you can, like, handle more and play with. You want to mess up the hot toy. That's a good point. You know what? You're right, Ant. I should spend more money. Yeah, you know, you got it. Yeah. Big baller over there. I don't know about that. That that's Big definitely baller. not it. Shot caller. Big baller. Shot caller. Uh, I don't know the artist or song. What artist was that? Midnight on the highway. I don't remember. I don't remember the artist. Based on your voice, it's Big Sean. No. Nah. The, 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 the voice sounded similar to what that I, my brain was. Big Sean was even a rapper. Oh. It was like I was a little kid when that song was out. Well, tell us in the Discord, bitches. <laughs> yeah, bitches. Do that. Yeah. When, when before you're a shot caller, make sure you guys always <laughs> save, save before, before quitting. quitting. And we'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everybody. So tired. I mean, hey, look. Now we get to edit it. 90 minutes. Less than 90 minutes. That's exactly what we had to do. In, out, (laughs) by quickness. Hell yeah. Right. Now I get to tell you all the, the, the spicy tea that I got for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's let's end this post credit scene. Yeah, get so fucked. We can talk about the real shit. Losers. Yeah. You can't never hear know about that. About. It's not even Patreon worthy. It's not. It definitely can't go on any kind of. Oh, recording. no. Not at all. <laughs> Bye, everybody, for real this time. Bye.